Welcome to the exciting second part of the video here. Okay, uh, what is the velocity and position of the ball five seconds from its launch? So we're looking at this problem here with Red Elk hitting a ball at this speed at this angle, right? The first thing we did here was we broke this into components, and I'm just going to use those components. The horizontal was cosine, and the vertical was sine, because that's the opposite side, that's the adjacent side. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to steal some values here. Let's set up a horizontal vertical table. Okay. Um, I'm going to use these initial velocities here and fill in the initial velocities on there. So this initial velocity is 8.4457. This one is 40.4272. And I just got those from this triangle here, right? Put them in there. I'm going to use the same one. It's the same launch, right? And then in this problem, it's five seconds. Okay? The five seconds. So I'm going to put five seconds as our time here, five seconds as our time there, right? Okay? Um, our acceleration here is negative 9.81. The acceleration here is zero, that's always true. And then my final velocity here is of course still 8.4457 meters per second, right? And the same, this is all meters per second there, right? And now I can just solve for the things I don't know. Um, I'm gonna solve for this S here. The only thing you ever do horizontally is S is UT, because there's no acceleration, right? So I can simply multiply the 8.4457 by 5, and I get um, 42.28285. Okay, so that's how far over, 42.2285 meters over. Okay, and now I can figure out the uh, vertical displacement here. Uh, let's see, I'm going to use uh, S equals UT plus one-half AT squared. Okay. So that's going to be uh, 40.4272 times 5 plus uh, 0.5 times negative 9.81 times 5 squared. <coughs> and I get 79.511. And then let's find the final velocity using V equals U plus AT. So that's going to be um, 40.4272 plus negative 9.81 times 5. So here we have it. It's going down, right? We knew it. We, by the way, knew that it would be going down 6228 meters per second. We knew that it would be going down because in this previous problem, right, it was in the air for 8.24 seconds which means basically it's going to be going up for about 4.12 seconds, right? This is at 5 seconds, and so we, we know that it's going to be going down. So yeah, sure, it's going down, right? It's also not at its highest point. Here, this guy at the highest point, 183 meters, it's already gone down some there, okay? And then it has moved over, right? 5 times uh, 8.44, we get 42 meters, right? So now we know the position uh, of the ball, right? Here's the ball, it's like shh, like this. We know that it's like here, it's 42 meters over. And it's 79.5 meters up. Okay, now we gotta figure out the velocity, right? Well, there's two ways to write the velocity. It has to be a vector, because it's a velocity, right? We could write it this way, 8.45 meters per second in the x direction right, and 40.4 meters per second in the y direction, whoops, I did the wrong one here, right, I had to do this guy here, right, so it's going to be negative 8.62 in the y direction, right, okay, but probably and almost certainly they want us to do this as an angle magnitude vector, so let's do that, right, let's go over 8.4457, And I'm going to go down 8.6228. Uh, 
meters per second, right? And then let's find a magnitude. The magnitude is going to be the square root of Okay. So let's see, square root of 8.4457 squared plus 8.6228 squared. That's 12.0699 meters per second. Okay, with three sig figs, we'd have to say 12.1 meters per second, and that's the speed, okay? And now we, if we want to make it a velocity, we've got to find that angle, right? So that angle there is the inverse tan of opposite over adjacent, right? So it's going to be 8.6228 divided by 8.4457, right? So the second tan of divided by 8.4457 and that's 45.59 or 45.6 degrees, right? So if we want to, if, if they ask us for the velocity at 5 seconds, right, we take these guys, the final velocity at 5 seconds, right, okay, we can either write it as a component vector, right, or we can draw a picture of it and go over right, 8.4457 and down 8.6228. Find the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse would be the speed, right? And then we can find the angle, that, and then that makes it an angle magnitude vector. 12.1 meters per second, 45.6 degrees below horizontal in English. There you go.